All right, thanks for tuning in. This is Red Tail Ray, and I'm giving you guys my new uh, backpack update, upgrade slash awesome Maxpedition Pygmy Falcon 2 backpack review. Um, if you guys remember my last or later videos on my other backpack to the left, you'll see the uh, the Condor backpack, and you can watch that video. Um, a couple of things that he did add to that backpack when it was a system um, or one of my my EDC system my everyday carry backpack my school bag and, and whatever else um, I did get a couple upgrades from that or uh, for that backpack but that pack pack is now retired and I'm going to turn that into my truck bag and that's going to have things in it that uh, are going to stay in my truck but the uh, few things that I did add before I get into the the new bag to the right, the Max Edition Pygmy Falcon 2, is uh, I'll just show you guys real quick. I just got a couple extra pouches and I, I got a little water bladder. Uh, hopefully you can hear me all right. I don't know how the echo is going to work out. But um, first thing you'll notice is that I did get a hydration reservoir bag, uh, or a bladder, excuse me, bladder. Um, it is a camelback. It is the same Coyote Tan. Um, it's got the HydroLink feature to it too as well, so you can disconnect the pieces. Um, really cool stuff. I like that. And there's the bite valve and a bite valve cover. Um, a couple of other things that I did get for this backpack were um, that's uh, HHR pouch, I believe, um, for missing stuff for your cell phone, for radio, for uh, I was carrying. Uh, pepper gel, basic mace or uh, protective spray, um, and that before. And then I did end up getting a tactical tailor, and it's squished right now. We haven't been using it quite yet. Um, a tactical tailor H2O pouch um, with PVC straps or the plastic straps, so these can be mounted anywhere on the backpack and vice versa. Um, still the same stuff in it. Actually, no, I actually took everything out of this backpack and consolidated it and shrunk it down and I put it into my new everyday carry bag. But, um, I don't know what's still. I got in here, I got some patches in there, I got some. I got a couple of uh, alcohol stoves. I got some. Some patches. Uh, basically, you gotta fill that up to a truck bag. But it's basically empty out. It's not my everyday bag anymore. Um, but I've done a video on this, so I'm not gonna even worry about this right now. I'm gonna throw this back right here. I'm gonna throw that up on the side. I'm gonna show you guys my new backpack. My new backpack is, again, I've said it a few times now, but it's the Maxpedition Pick Me Felt for Um it's an amazing bag. It, if I remember right, it is much, much, much thicker, denser Cordura nylon than the Condor backpacks. The zippers are YKK, self-correcting. Um, of course, you'll notice one of the first things too is I did my own zipper poles again. Um, I love just like the, the ring style zipper poles. And I did a Paracord knot for the uh, or over the handle, so I, I just really like doing that. Uh, a little bit of orange on there, so I can see it too with two loops, so I can I can attach a carabiner, or throw my keys on there or whatever. Um, it's got a Y a Y style compression strap on on the top, and it's a different style backpack. I know, like that's a three day assault pack, and this is. A version of that with less compartments. With this backpack, you got just a very, very small, slim first compartment. The second compartment is the square that you will see on their website. Um, it's, it's a nice size. You can fit a whole bunch of stuff in there, which I will show you. And then the main compartment. So instead of four compartments, you only get three with this one. But it does have uh, Molly straps. Um, on the bottom down here, you'll notice there's a bungee system. 
on my Patagonia um, Gore-Tex level 6 rides for right now and that's one of the main reasons I got it because I got such a great deal on this um, jacket that I really just wanted to keep on going with that kind of everyday carry system where everything matches. Next up is going to be a set of rain pants as well but for right now I've got a backpack and I got a jacket and the jacket will either go under or over the backpack depending on how I mean, if it's incredibly rainy, if it's torrential downpour, I'll throw the jacket over the backpack, but um, they do, doesn't seem like right now in the light conditions, I mean, I've got uh, some pretty intense lights in the basement, but um, they match a lot better than it seems like on camera. Uh, this seems, because I've seen it, uh, a little bit lighter, but they're actually very, very, very close in color. It's kind of a... Um, olive gray color but anyways um uh, max position back back um i did decide to upgrade i really 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 like max position stuff it's something that i saved up for um, they just make awesome stuff uh there's no waist strap on this backpack there is a chest strap that connects together and it does have a little bungee in there and the buckles are amazing, they're awesome. Also up front here too on the, uh, the left shoulder strap, I do have a cell phone carrier or a radio carrier for my expedition. I've had that longer than the backpack, I got that as a gift. But it works really well to hold the cell phone out of the pocket but up right next to your ear. Or I'm sorry, um, right up on your chest when you're carrying this backpack. And the back is mesh. And it's comfortable, it's breathable, same with the underside of the straps, even the mesh stuff, um, as well as the cordura nylon is 10 times better than the Condor stuff. Um, sorry Condor, but my Expedition's got uh, a better product. Um, you notice I got my Phoenix LD20 up here on top, I can access that with the backpack on. Um, I've got a, a full size of the backpack that are water bottle holders or equipment holders. You can, you can fit a full size, in this case, glow in the dark Nalgene bottle. And it slips right in there and comes right out, it cinches down um, with a nice grabber and uh, the adjustment. But uh, yeah, that's uh, really nice that it'll fit two water bottles. It does not have a hydration bladder reserve pocket we you can manage one in there if you wanted to and just close the zippers up top uh, on this side <clears throat> i do have my i consolidated my ziploc bag if you will um this is my first aid kit it's a pouch that i had lying around i've got some tape i've got some gauze i've got some gauze pads gauze pads, band-aids, gloves, um, other stuff. I got some chapstick and some tape and some some of the other essentials for uh, a very, very, very light first aid kit that you could just carry your own. And it's, I mean, it's not that big. It's very compressible. It doesn't interfere with the backpack. And when I throw the bag over my right shoulder, it acts as a nice little pillow to with my shoulder it props it up a little bit, which I like. So, you guys of course can look over the entire, go on their website, go on my Expedition's website, and look over all of their actual specifications for the bag. And actually, I think I got them pulled up right here anyways. So I was just on the iPad searching for them. And the color is going to be... Oh, where's the color color? The color from Maxpedition is foliage green. I'm not sure I'm going to stick this in front and you guys can see their website. I'm not sure if that's going to come in. Um, I did get my backpack for less than average retail price. Even from Maxpedition's website. If I scroll down, yeah, you guys can totally check out 
the uh, the website. Here is the specifications. And yada yada. Yeah, YK's, YKK zippers, DuPont Teflon, water resistant, not waterproof. There's the reviews. I'll get the iPad out of the way and go through what I'm carrying in my backpack. First, first zipper pocket. <clears throat> I got a dirt bag hacky sack for dawn time. I've got a glasses and goggles wiper, microfiber cloth. Um, I got a phone charger in here. I also got some change. I also got um, some e cig cartridges. Not that big deal. I, I don't really carry too much in there. I don't want it to blow up too much. The main or the minor compartment in the backpack is where I move the majority of my everyday carry utilitarian style equipment. Um, I got my mechanics gloves uh, on my keyring holder. I do got a night eyes bug light. It's got a couple different modes. It's great for the bike too. I got my friend's house key. I got my wife's car key. There I've got a it's an extreme emergency. I've got a tourniquet, tactical tourniquet for the cat. Tat? Cat, I don't remember. Um, I also have a waterproof bag, 35 liter waterproof bag from Seal Skin. I don't remember the company. This covers the whole back if I needed to. Seal line. Um, I'm going to bring the uh, the backpack over the paddle board or in the kayak or in the canoe and I won't worry about anything getting damaged on the inside. I really do like that. I got that on sale. I don't remember exactly how much, but I, I don't have a rain sack or a rain cover for my backpack, so I do carry a, a really large size um, waterproof bags. And this one is from AC Seal Line. Um, what else do I got in here? I got an um, MTE MCG33 squared. Again, this is that uh, 1200 lumen flashlight that I uh, have another video on. Nothing else on the bottom here. I do got some of the coffee packets. Uh, some folders, single serve, coffee singles. Uh, what else? There's a nice little organization. set up right here on the inside of the backpack. I don't got anything there, I don't got anything there. I got a fine point and an ultra fine point sharper marker. I've got my cleanse wipe. I've got a N95 certified N90 or N90, yeah, N95 certified dust mask. Um, here's the instructions for the cat. The tourniquet, the tactical tourniquet that I got. Yeah, cat. Combat action. Yep. Combat application tourniquet. Um, I can't believe I found that for five dollars at the circle store. But uh, yeah, that was that was a really sweet deal. Let me put some of this stuff back. Going on to the next compartment. And you can see that the waterproof bag completely will cover. The backpack, even if it's stuffed, it doesn't seem like it, but even if it's got two Nalgene water bottles on each side, this bag will accommodate that. The waterproof bag will accommodate the backpack. It's a uh, it's really nice idea that my buddy had. He's like, hey, we should get some waterproof bags since you don't have a backpack with a rain fly. That's not a bad idea. I took them up on it. Everything's back. And then on to the main compartment. Again, this is just going to be my, my new EDC style bag. I uh, had a lot of revisions and improvements to make. But there's a lot of stuff in my last backpack, in my Condor backpack, that I didn't end up carrying. Or, and I didn't use every day. So it was literally dragging me down. Um, I know it's heavier. This backpack is much, much, much bigger than this, but this one's configured. I don't know if you see, I, uh, I just actually opened up the full clamshell, which is something I, I made a comment out 
cool with the condor bag is that that strap got in the way, and this backpack actually opens up into a full tent. Um, first thing you'll notice is my uh, zip cups pull out, and you ever need to, need to use those, it's, it'd be good to have. I got my emergency uh, certificates. Um, next up on the list, I do have just a slight, you know, reusable bag and we'll go grocery shopping and pull this out. Um, I got that fridge for food. I got a couple clip bars. You can't go wrong with clip bars. Especially peanut clip bars. Oh, they're so good. Maybe one day I'll make a video on clip bars. Uh, there's enough videos on clip bars. And this bag is just to hold uh, that food and kind of the same spot. And then you go to the grocery store. You don't have to. You don't have to use paper bags. Um, what else is there? Um, in the back of the backpack, there's a couple pockets here too. Um, there's a slip-through pocket. And again, this would work. You can work this for a hydration bladder. Um, I got a small pocket here, and then the zipper pocket on top. And the zipper pocket, I have the incident response pocket guide. Um, had it in my other backpack as well. Um, I guess I'm learning about that if you want YouTube search that. And then for my kit, I actually found one of these just random, um, I'm not sure if it's like a sundries or like a bathroom kit or whatever it is. It's got no labeling whatsoever. It seems like a soft leather or rubber kind of kit, but I did end up putting most of my emergency essentials into a compartmentalized um, organization thing. I got a poncho, the blanket, the knife, the sport, the leatherman, knife sharpener, WD-40, glow sticks, lighter, etc. All the other stuff that I made uh, another video about. I uh, put all that stuff, besides what's in the front compartment, into that little container. And it's worked out great. It worked out really good. And again, we'll see what Big self repairing light AK zippers. They're super nice. They always work, even if the bag's not full or if the bag's not empty. Um, again, with the mesh, the mesh is nice. The quarter on that one is thicker. There's D rings, there's straps, there's long straps. The bottom is actually coated or rubberized, if you will. And then again, I can pull this over. Well, it's kind of a pain to put back in here, but I think it's totally worth it. I got my Patagonia Vortex Little 6 that I got from the same surplus store. And it's an amazing windproof, waterproof, lightweight jacket and backpack. Again, I might not look really, really close on video, but it is very close in real life. It matches perfectly. It's, it's just awesome. I did gray zipper pulls here. It's kind of thrown it off on the bright orange, but that's. Uh, that's my setup for right now, and uh, I apologize if the video went a little bit too long. Uh, I hate watching long videos, but um, I hope this worked out, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.